are done uh, with safety uh, first. Um, please don't try anything with electricity unless um, you have been supervised by an adult. Electricity is very dangerous. The electric energy ball is a very small charge, nothing that will affect um, anyone at home. So viewer discretion be advised. All right, what does this look like to you? Golf ball. Golf ball. Ping pong ball. Ping pong ball. Straight ball. Ping pong ball. Little kind of little ball. Okay. Take a look at this ball here. You can zoom in on the ball. No ordinary ping pong ball because there's something a little weird about it. Something Possibly could be. And what could it be used for? What could be? Why are there two metal clips? Let's hear some hypotheses is, 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 is about why there are metal clips in a hole in a ping pong ball. It could be a sensor or it could be like a miniature club, um, um, outlet. A sensor or a mini outlet for power, a power source. Interesting. Oh, yes. Um, it could be a renewable source of energy. Renewable source could be recharged, rechargeable. I thought it was, I was thinking it could be like a light bulb. A light bulb. The possibility of light situation in here. So we have a whole bunch of hypotheses. Our hypothesis is that this ball possibly has some energy. Okay? It could be a source of energy. So to test this hypothesis, some students have already set me up with an experiment. And the first experiment that I was told to do is to touch both ends of the ping pong ball. Touch both ends, just like a student asked me to do for an experiment. Let's see what happens. Alright, so I'm touching both ends. Now, yeah. student says try this. It's going. Okay, okay. Two, two separate hands. <gasps> Will it work? Maybe. What's your hypothesis? Yes. Yeah. Alright. Do this to nose. A circuit has to go in a complete direction. circle. It has to be a consistent circle. So is there a circle here? Yeah. Circle because it's going up this, the electricity is going here and coming out. I'm completing the circuit. This is a complete circuit. By the way, is it a closed circuit or an open circuit? Closed. Closed. Now how do I open it? My class has just discovered the energy ball and how the energy ball works. Now the energy ball is really interesting. You have two ends right here. Okay, and then we learned about a circuit. An electrical circuit has to have a beginning and an end. It to be closed, it has to run. That electricity has to flow in a complete circuit or a complete circle. So that means both ends have to be met. Okay, that's a circle going from arm to arm. That's a circle going around through my head. That's a circle. So the electricity's flowing. Oh, the energy's going. The electricity. The student and I have to create a circle or a closed circuit. This is a closed circuit. Now when I break it, it's an open circuit. Close. <laughs> now what we're going to try and do is see how big we can get our circuit going. What we want to do is create an electric circuit. One that's going to travel through like wires. We are going to be the wires though. Touch. I've got a close. No, that's good. She, he's good. Ready? <gasps> now, one person at a time will be the open and closing I'll switch. Start with Misha. You're the switch. He has awesome. the power. The Next, Dan. We'll see who else has all the power. One of my students said, wait a minute. This should flow just through water, shouldn't it? So what if we connected each other by just dipping our fingers in water and not touching each other? Will it work? Can I get the Let's water? find out. Right now we have an open circuit. The only thing to do to make a closed circuit is for, is for someone else, I hope this person's brave, to touch the other end. We have a complete circuit and no one's fingers are touching. All their fingers are doing are staying in the water. Now, we're going to do one person at a time. You keep the connection. Oh my god. 
Next, we sure. now the question is, what if we just put a little splash of water on the table? Will it still go through a puddle of water? Can I Not a hill. I'm scared. A little bit here. Now I have a little puddle of water. Will it still be a complete circuit? Okay. We have an open circuit. I want to close the circuit just by touching a puddle of water. Oh my god. Let's see how far I can go. Ready? You stay still. We've made water wires. As with all my demonstrations, you were discretion. <laughs> Folks, uh, as with all my demonstrations, uh, you were desperate. <laughs> and to all my uh, viewers at home, uh, viewers should be advised discretion. <laughs> Please advise my discretion. Oh my